going to do is demonstrate uh, our, our sort of most uh, well common graph we use. So uh, terminal terminal uh, and, left and graph. Tell them which tree you're on. Terminal side graph. Uh, we're graphing avocados. Um, this is a uh, Hass, Hass Budwood six here. Um, and you've had those in the refrigerator? Yes. We what can, what we, degrees? Uh, we store them at about uh, six to eight degrees. Mm. How long um, do you have them before you store? How long do you keep them in the refrigerator? We can keep them for up to about uh, ten weeks. Oh, mm. um, so is there a time limit that at least they have to be stored in a refrigerator before grafting? Oh no, not at all. You can you, you can, can graft them. They don't need a, a chill or anything like no, that. Okay. No, they can, we can use them straight away. But um, we've got special special bags, cherry bags we use, um, which actually lets the oxygen out and retains the carbon dioxide, so it just helps them uh, store a lot longer oh, than what we used to. Can you show us one while we're here? Exactly Are they the same to. as lychee bags or not? Um, well, I'm not sure. Probably. Can you show me a video of this? Oh, good. Yeah, okay, so we we'll take good. a scion, just uh, carve, a, carve a wedge. Make it slightly longer on one side. So we're actually going into the side of the redstone. So we're just splitting the cambium here, popping that in. And how do you know when it's ready to be grafted, Sean? Ready to be grafted. Mm -hmm. uh, we can we can graft the rootstock at any at any stage. Um, we can graft it when it's just a seedling that high mm. uh, and, and graft it right right down close to the to the uh, to the mix, mm. just on a, on a, on the red shoot. And it, do, it doesn't need leaves at that point because it's still feeding so off what, the seed. Yeah. But once it gets past a certain <laughs> stage, the plant needs leaves to uh, just sustain the root system um, because it's actually yeah, photosynthesizing at that, at that point. So, so and we just match the match the sides. And then we just uh, tie it up. Yep. With a bit of, this is parafilm. Yeah, well, he told me use buddy tape. Oh, okay. We do for our uh, for our more for our smaller graphs, our, our micro graphs. We do because it's nice and it's nice and pliable. Whereas this, well, yeah, when, when they're so soft, when the material's so soft, it's just the the buddy tape's just a lot more sort of flexible. And so which ones do you use the parafilm on? Oh, uh, the the um, buddy tape on. On, on our on our clonal grafting, which we do at a much sort of in, in its micro stage, yeah. yeah. So it's it's much sort of uh, more flimsy. Yeah. So the, the guys just prefer to use that rather than. And this do you bit. always use white to reflect the heat, or? Uh, it's or not real. I, I'm not sh sure if it's really to uh, deflect the he heat. It's just. Uh, we, we just find the white. There is, they come in different colours. We just find the whites more flexible. It just uh -huh. seems to be the best right. one. So you just do one up. You don't go down at all. Uh, no, we do one up and then a, a couple more around the, around the top. We find that's enough. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the avocados, they, they don't tend to be too sappy yeah. and want to split. You know. right. with, with some crops, we use a lot more tape with more woody, woody material because it sort of tends to want to bust open. And where do you get the bags from? These bags are mm. uh, just a, uh, a plastics uh, contractor. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. Mm. Sort of then the, these are just normal bags? Like a, like a free, more like a freezer bag, don't they? You can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. We put a little bag on just to uh, retain, the, retain the moisture oh, and so it doesn't dry out. It's not clipped too tight. It's not clipped yeah. too tight, so it makes it easy to pull off later okay. on. Oh. It's just tight enough so it doesn't oh. blow off. So it doesn't blow off. That's, that's all it is, yeah. Yeah, just okay. so the wind doesn't blow it off. Is there a special length for anybody? Oh, no. Yeah. We, just, we try to make our cut about an inch, at least an inch long. Yeah, about an inch long. Yeah. Uh, that's halfway in the three pages. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, do you always do it sort of about that much above the grass? The, um, the pot, yeah, well, hang on. No, that thing, isn't we, it? We gen generally graft at about 300 mil, 30 centimetres. Mm. That's, mm. Our, that's our sort of general 
general height, just yeah. keep yeah. uniformity. Yeah. And we find that that sort of, um, yeah. by that stage, yeah. it's got enough leaves there. Quiet, please. <laughs> Drink, anybody? It's the last water I got until I go back to the fridge and get some more. Would you like Just a Pepsi? I'll take it. Okay, I'll get out of your hair. So, do you do any trees um, much lower? Do you do any citrus low to the ground? Uh, we we do bud our citrus lower. We use a, a different a different graph. We use a bud graph for citrus mm. mostly. We do graph some citrus exactly the same way. But um, we do bud a lot as well. Because I've just been in New Zealand, and they were they were budding down here. Is and that right? Yeah, and the reason they said was um, you don't get as many um, side shoots. Side shoots. Uh. Yeah. Well, that's probably probably a good idea. Yeah. Well, we sort of yeah. We what do you mean water shoots? You mean do you like shoots from underneath? Yeah, shoots oh. from the oh, roots. Okay. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you, the higher you do it, the more more side shoots you've got to come along and remove. But, um, so the idea with this graft is that we can actually, you don't have to go down the middle. You can use a smaller, smaller uh, uh, budwin material on a larger stock. Uh. So what I've done actually here is just gone on the side of it. So that, that budwood is actually uh. skinnier uh. than the wood there. So, so this gives you a bit more surface area to contact that you'd get out of... Um, a whip and tongue. Uh, it's the thing with the whip and tongue is that uh, you need the same same size material as your oh, as your yeah. stock. Mm. Whereas with this, we can use smaller mm. material, uh, smaller yeah. budwood material uh, mm. than the, than the rootstock. Mm. We can get some, quite a quite a, quite a skinny piece mm. onto a larger uh, rootstock. Yeah. Just gives us more options. Mm. Mm. How did you get into grafting? Oh, I just walked in. <laughs> Where did you learn your... Here. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, did you? Job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I didn't know anything about it oh. okay. before I came here, yeah. Oh, so how long have you been here? Oh, ten years or oh, so. Okay. Oh. Ten years, yeah. You do all the graphics? Oh, no, no. So we have mean, a team. Yeah, we have but you mainly on av avocados, or do you do graphing on all different... We graph all yeah, you. sorts. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, you do everything. You I do everything. You don't stick to one... No, no, no. Everyone, we all, we Multitask. all, task. We all, we all do. No, there's no sort of specialised. You know, specialized. Only one person does one. Yeah. There are some. Some of the guys are better at certain things, so I try to sort of let them, ah. you know, do yeah. them, and maybe let the other guys do what mm. they sort of do well. You know, yeah. sort of. So this depends. Just how it works. Yeah. Yeah. So how can you tell who if somebody's done a, a crook? Grafting, you know what I mean. If you've got a crook lot, who to point the finger at? Well, <laughs> like I'll, signatures. I'll come along. I'll, I'll evaluate evaluate all, right. all the graphs okay. later on. Yeah. And I'll sort of look around, and we, we document it all. So, ah. yeah. you know, if someone's had a poor take in something, mm. I'll have to pull them aside and maybe just sort of, you know. So, do you graft out there, things. you know, on a stool, or do you bend up standing mm. over, or do you bring them in here and do them on bench? Over here, we try. We will bring them in here and do them on a bench oh. rather than the nursery's. You know, quite quite full, so it, it's a little bit hard to sort of. I, I don't expect the guys to sort of you know lean over. Now, this is know. actually higher than an ordinary table too, isn't it? It you is. Know, it is, is a little bit. I just I'm just using it. Yeah, mm. we're probably probably about another yeah, six inches. Yeah, it makes a difference. It doesn't sort of, stand so, so all day. Mm. Well, what? The guys. Beg yours. Ergonomically, That's right. Because I mean, the guys are doing it, yeah. you know, every day of the year, mm. so you know, we've got, it's got to be All sustainable. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So. What's the box? This box here. Yeah. That's uh, just full of uh, potting media. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's mm. Just for potting up. So look, the mystery box. <laughs> so how long do you leave the bag on? Bag stays on just until it's they're starting to shoot. Shoots are about. Yay high. Um, usually in summer it's about <coughs> around three weeks or something like that. In winter probably more like six weeks. And at that stage do you strip the leaves off or do you keep them on? Oh no, no, we leave the leaves. Um, we, we don't ever take them off. There's, there's no need. Um, once the, um, the graft is taken off then um, no, there's no need to remove the leaves. Just unnecessary. As it shoots, will it actually